Manchester United, a club with a rich history of success, trophies and iconic players. However, lately they seem to be going through a rough patch. They started off well with Eric Ten Hag, but after the Carabao Cup, they're currently experiencing inconsistent performances and a struggle to maintain their position as one of the top clubs in English football. With Eric Ten Hag at the helm, the Red Devils desperately need a new spark to reignite their attacking prowess and help them return to their former glory. Could there be a young, talented player in their ranks who could become the key to their resurgence? In today's video, we'll reveal the identity of this exciting prospect and discuss how he could potentially change the game for Manchester United. We'll analyse his playing style, strengths and how his loan spell at Sunderland has shaped him into a formidable talent. So, will this player become a future star for Manchester United? Let's find out! But first, please leave a like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And without further ado, let's get started! Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United has an array of talents at their disposal, with players like Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, Anthony Martial and Jadon Sancho in their ranks. However, the team's performance has been somewhat underwhelming as they are struggling to maintain consistency and find the right balance in their attacking lineup. The lack of reliable, creative and explosive presence on the wings has been a glaring issue for the Red Devils and it's clear they need a solution to this problem. Amidst this challenging situation, a young player has been turning heads with his dazzling skills, lightning fast pace and uncanny ability to create goal-scoring opportunities. He's been making a name for himself during his loan spell at Sunderland and many believe that he's the missing piece in Manchester United's attacking puzzle. The young prodigy is none other than Ahmed Jallo. His story starts at the age of 13 when he enrolled in the ASEC Mimosas Youth Academy in Ivory Coast. This is where he continued to hone his winger skills. He was invited to practice with the youth team of the Italian club Atalanta in 2015 at just 12 after his skills drew the attention of European scouts. He performed admirably in his trial and Atalanta's youth academy offered him a permanent position. He and his family relocated to Italy where he started to rise through the ranks. He made great progress with the club and by the time he was 18, he was frequently playing for Atalanta's Primavera, their under-19 team. Jan Perno Jasperini, the head coach of Atalanta's first team, noticed him in his final year at the academy and called him up for a few Serie A games. He made his senior debut for the club in the 2019-20 season, coming on as a substitute in the Coppa Italia match against Udinese. Giallo put on a great performance for Atalanta's youth and senior teams that showed off his speed, dribbling skills and ball handling creativity. His performances didn't go unnoticed and Manchester United were interested. In the summer of 2020, the teenage Ivorian winger caught the attention of Manchester United's club scouts, who were impressed by his performances at Atalanta. Talks between the two teams lasted several months until a contract was reached in October 2020. The transfer fee was reported to be around 37 million euros. He joined the club formally in January 21, once all the required paperwork and documents were finalised. Upon arriving at Old Trafford, he was met with high hopes. The arrival of a young, talented winger who could speed up and add creativity to the team's assault thrilled Manchester United fans. He was also anticipated to provide players like Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford, well-established first-team players, with some wholesome competition. He didn't play right away for the senior squad, but he made an impact right away for the under-23s, scoring twice on his debut against Liverpool. He was called up to the senior team due to his accomplishments with the academy and he made his Manchester United debut in the Europa League round of 32 against Real Sociedad by substituting in and scoring a spectacular goal in a 4-0 victory. Fans and commentators alike praised his talent and potential after his debut shocked Old Trafford and beyond. Under increasing performances and pressure, he remained unbothered, displaying maturity and composure beyond his years. His playing style is defined by his fast pace, great dribbling skills and creativity. He can easily slip past opponents with his quick feet and close control, leaving them in his wake. He poses a severe attacking threat due to his fast acceleration and directional changes. Then comes his creativity. He's confident going up against opponents one-on-one -on -one and has an eye for a pass. He's entertaining to watch because of his assurance and daring on the ball. And because of his unpredictable play, defenders frequently struggle to contain him. One of his strengths is his ability to score goals. He has a talent for landing himself in advantageous situations and carries a potent shot. 
His first goal for Manchester United in the Europa League showcased his deadly finishing prowess as he expertly slid the ball past two players and into the goal. In his short time at Manchester United before the loan transfer, he had already shown his attacking prowess, averaging 2.5 dribbles per game in the Premier League. In the Europa League, he completed 87% of his passes, displaying his capacity to provide up chances for his teammates. On August 31, 2022, he signed a season-long loan agreement to play for Sunderland in the EFL Championship. The move was considered a chance for him to improve his skills and adapt to the roughness and competition on the other side. He has had an immediate impact since his arrival. He continued to display his technical skill and his attacking flair on the field, and his performances in several games were noteworthy. He scored his first goal for Sunderland in their 4-2 home loss to Burnley in October 2022. Ahmad won the EFL Young Player of the Month award with three goals in just five games in December. Through his loan at Sunderland, he has had the opportunity to play more games and earn more crucial league experience. He's adapted to the physicality of English football with maturity and adaptation, which will definitely help him when he rejoins Manchester United. Although he has spent much of his time playing right wing with Sunderland, the Black Cats, he has also played as an attacking midfielder and a striker, giving him some significant experience. He is now planning to come back to Manchester. As we all know, Manchester United has a strong tradition of producing talented wingers and Diallo is no exception. In fact, many fans and pundits have compared him to some of the club's greatest wingers of all time, such as Ryan Giggs. In terms of skill set, he is comparable to the current Manchester United wingers like Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood due to his speed, dribbling skills and creativity. Nonetheless, his assurance and daring on the field are what distinguish him. He doesn't mind taking chances and his unpredictable nature makes him a potentially harmful attacking threat. His potential is also a key factor in his comparison to Manchester United's current wingers. He has already proven his ability to score goals and create opportunities at 20. He is seen as one of the most promising young talents in European football and has a bright future ahead of him. His inclusion into the squad could give Manchester United's offence a fresh perspective. His speed and dribbling skills might open up spaces for his teammates and present possibilities, while his passing sense and creativity could assist in breaking even the tightest defences. Also his versatility, being able to play on either wing or as an attacking midfielder would add much needed depth to the club. Giallo is an excellent fit for Manchester United's offensive style of play thanks to his speed, dribbling skills and creativity. His capacity to overpower defenders and open doors for his teammates may be crucial in overpowering stubborn defenders. In terms of tactics, he might be used as a winger with Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes in United's favoured 4-2-3-1 formation. There's also that chemistry between him and other players. And with Rashford, Greenwood and Fernandes, he could make a lethal attacking four, thanks to his ability to play with other attackers and create chances. His natural ability to beat defenders and his willingness to take on opponents one-on-one -on -one make him a perfect match for United's counter-attacking style. He might hold the key to breaking down defences in close games and provide the team a crucial edge in the final third. Moreover, his adaptability as an offensive midfielder might enable him to play in a more central position where he could take part in build-up play and make opportunities from deeper areas. So, why will Ahmad Jello play for Manchester United? It's simple. His explosive pace, exceptional dribbling ability and creativity on the ball make him a standout talent with the potential to become one of the best wingers in world football. And with his performances at Manchester United and Sunderland already showing glimpses of his talent, it's only a matter of time before he becomes a regular in the team's starting lineup. But here's a question, how good do you think Jello can become and where do you see him fitting into Manchester United's future plans? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.